bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Welcome back, folks. This is Titanium Rhino here again with another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Where we left off, we'd just gotten done with a Mary Beth mission, um, hunting down some people who were griefing Tilly. Uh, one of the things I forgot to tell you about last time, it was kind of funny, um, <clears throat> at least, I don't know if it's funny, haha, -ha, but uh, when I was doing the bandit challenges, I actually killed my horse the Arabian that I'd worked so hard to get and bonded up to level 4 during one of the bandit challenges you have to steal well during three of them really you have to steal coaches and sell them to the wagon fence well I was on my way to sell one uh, across some railroad tracks a little bit ahead of uh, a train my horse was following me and the horse did not make it past the tracks I ended up getting hit by the train didn't even have time to use a reviver on it so I lost ghost well the first iteration of ghost so I had to go back and get another one. As you can see, I did so, and he looks virtually the same. I do have a different uh, saddle on him. I was using one of the trapper saddles before I went with... Uh, I can't even remember the name of it now. I'm going to actually have to go to the stables to see. Um, but I realized with the stirrups and the horn and everything, you actually get better stats than the trapper, uh, the trapper saddles. So let's see here. Also, my honor got tanked while I was doing those bandit challenges, so I'm just going to go with bad honor. I know you get unlocks at maximum honor and minimum honor. Alright, so let's see here. I went ahead and renamed the new horse Ghost. Uh, let's see. So for the saddle, I decided to go with the Lumley and McClelland improved saddle. So that's what it looks like. thought it looked pretty cool. And big saddlebags, improved saddlebags, whatever you want to call them. Got a lot of these unlocked, but I decided to go with the best ones. Got these hooded stirrups. It's a little bit of a foot protector there, but I got a 50% stamina drain uh, reduction. So I'll only go through half as much stamina. I can just run for days with this horse. I know it's not the best horse in the game, but for right now, it's sufficient for my needs, and I, I think this is just absolutely fantastic. I can't actually adjust the horn with this right. saddle. Uh, I know some of the other saddles I bought you know, this one before. Using a cheaper Let's see. Horns. Yeah. Horns don't, don't actually do anything. Saddle. Anyways, okay. I'll go back to that other saddle. I just think it looks really cool, and 50% stamina drain was better than either of these. Well, nope, that one's the same. They are the same. I just, okay. Regeneration rate core is probably better for all of that stuff, to be honest. This is the better of the two. But I just, I don't, I don't like the look of it. I just, I like the Lumley McClelland. I think the color scheme works pretty well with this horse. Won't find anyone better with horses than me. That's a fact. We'll go ahead and oh. buy the horse care package. All right. Now, as I mentioned in the last like video, we're back in the city of industry, Saint Denis. Dutch is waiting on us up here. I'm not going to bother with that beggar because I know it's good honor to give him money, and I don't really feel like getting good honor right now. I'll max it out later, but right now, because of those bandit challenges, I'm pretty low, as you can see here. I just want to bottom it out before I try getting back up again. Out of the damn way. You are I did hit you. I shouldn't have been in the way. Shouldn't have been standing there. What is this place? Holy buckets. I like that tree. This kind of reminds me of uh, Interview with the Vampire. What's up, Dutch? What you got for me? There you are. You boys John? ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. 
Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay it's only now? a little ominous with that fog. Yes. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? I don't know. I feel like I look you like a badass. I like it. Down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. <laughs> I got this. I'll look like pansies with our hands up in the air like that. I got new gloves too. I don't know if you noticed that. Don't worry, boys. We come Just trapper peace. gloves. I forget which ones. Thought they looked a good. Of things out with your boss. I like these guys' suits. Date. At least I look the part. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. Ooh. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come hey. into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Dude's gonna die. Indeed you have. Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent <laughs> bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly, you think I need to shave those mutton else. chops. Teodoro. <laughs> That's an embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bron. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Mars. I took a quick oh, twist. Mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. So, uh. Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. No. <laughs> but first... But, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? Always a couple screams. of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind. Stay as my honored guest. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Arrivederci. Come on, ghost. Should probably get my 
appropriate All right. bullets. Let's go. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you yep. trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Nope. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... Unless you want trouble, take that mask off. <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I'm not taking my I mask figured... off. The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Nice quiet night ride. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. You know Let's hitch your horses up ahead. God damn it! What? Say up ahead, but you don't really like a jerk. What I got? Lancaster. I don't want the. Okay, whatever. I wanted Springfield, but I'm probably gonna use my pistols anyways. So what's it matter? Let's be honest. This way. Who are you? Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. A roo 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 roo. I hear you, puppy. I don't know if this hunting vision is actually helping. There's a bird. Keep it down. Hey, wait a second. Hey there, boy. What you got, puppy? That's it? Alright. Big place. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. There it is. A big mausoleum at the end of the cemetery, of course it is. I hear something in there. Come out, come out, whoever you are. Oh, 
Oh, snap. Get off me, fool. Oh. I want my hat. The fucker came up behind me. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time touch you go and I'll have a drink. Sure hope they ain't seeing better than we are. Ha ha ha. That all of them? Someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. <laughs> they shot at us over here. But okay, guess we're going this way. Come on. Let's quickly check. Off. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. That's it. Let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's not. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Stick to the side. Oh, dude, popped up right next to me. What the hell? The hell? That's not even cool. John's horse died. Okay. No, seriously, that dude popped up out of nowhere. Crazy. Maybe next time just split, leave John to his own. <laughs> I don't know. $235 bounty. Oh. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Put that back on. Lock. I don't think it's gonna let's matter. Just track back to where we came in. Damn it. We do this quietly and sneak out? I don't think so. I feel like it's gonna end up as another fight. I yep, found dude body. right there. Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. No, we ain't. Come on, John. Keep up.
John, where are you at? Way back there. What are you doing? Come on, John. Keep up. That was a cluster. Those damn dogs, man. Come on. I'd be interested to see what a gold requires on this. Get out without getting detected for sure. do about those dongs. I should probably should have turned around down the other way. Alright, coming back, Dutch. We got set up. That's all there is to it. We had to have gotten set up on that. lost my hat again. Utterly ridiculous. I thought this was going to be a shortcut. Damn. Totally wasn't. Way out and around. Ah, this will work. Fifty-five dollar bounty for a couple of dogs. Whatever. Oh, seriously? Come on, ghost. You suck. Oh my god. Worst horse ever. John, why'd you get off? Makes no sense. Well, this has been an absolutely horrific showing. I'm probably not going to get paid for it. Bronze medal, here we come.
You took your time. Jack, where's your host? Bite me. Like I said, you took your time. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple country boys. Let's go. La la di da. Jack, you're gonna love it. All right. Which way are we going? Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, Mike. son? I'm fine. I don't think Dutch knows Papa where he's going. Come for me. Papa Bronte. I'm sorry. What for? For that. Taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa oh, Ponte now I'm getting hungry. Lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. Fantafola? That's a slipper. Didn't slipper? know you were getting an Italian lesson this video, did ya? One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well... The man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? Oh, yep. hey, Paul. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Get the money we need and disappear. Anyway, we got Jack. And that's all that matters for right now. Come on. Come on. Flippin' believable. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! The they hell is he wearing? Italian. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? <sighs> so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. He is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? Not outside of a circus. Well, <laughs> let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. <laughs> Arthur, go Boys, do whatever the hell you do. We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Four hundred and fifty dollars. That's actually not too bad. 
I told you I was getting a bronze, though. I didn't complete any of it. 10 minutes, 40 seconds. Good lord. Don't get spotted. Encounter the dog and the drunk? I found the dog. Don't get spotted. How the hell are you supposed to get out? I don't get it. I guess I'm going to have to practice that one a bit. Four headshots. That's a bit surprising that I didn't get that, considering all the uh, dead eye I was doing. But, eh, whatever. Well, that's that, I guess. Thanks for joining me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comments below. And we'll see you in the next video. I don't see any... any uh, Quests popping up here as of right now. I'm just sitting here. So, might be a little bit. See what's going on. I'm going to run around for a little bit, maybe pay my bounty here. It's Unbelievable. That's all I got to say about it. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, join me back here again next time. We'll see what's going on. Hope you had fun. I know I did. That was crazy. And as always, keep on gaming. meant to be in the great outdoors forever free